Today's question comes from Tim in Texas. Tim writes, My 37-year-old daughter recently entered rehab for alcoholism. While it's a difficult situation, I'm very grateful that she realizes she has a problem and she's seeking help. Before she went into rehab, I learned that she had $20,000 in credit card debt. She's talking about declaring bankruptcy. The tough love part of me says she needs, it to, she needs to be accountable and follow the baby steps and work through her debt snowball to pay it off. The other part of me said she's been through a tremendous ordeal and she needs a fresh start and that I should pay off the debt for her. I'm fortunate to be in a position where I can easily do this. Given my daughter's addiction, pending recovery, and negative financial position, what is the best course of action concerning my daughter's debt? Dave, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This one gets messy, and you've dealt with this for years and years and years and years. Oh, it's your world, man. I mean, it's um, there, there's a. Uh, I mean, I've got a, a daughter that age. I can imagine his heart's broken. Oh man, and he wants to help. Yeah, and I immediately wonder. Um, if his enabling in the past has something to do with her addiction, yeah, or his, yeah, so because he's he's trying to he's trying to do it again, yeah. or is, or is he just being compassionate and loving and kind and yeah, you know, it's, it's the enablers are always the nicest people. Yeah, so I think first it's important to note you take bankruptcy off the table for twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, that, right. Like Good that's point. off the table. Good point. Good point. Um, I my understanding of the alcoholism rehab world is like any other rehab world as you begin to take ownership of your life mm -hmm. one tiny step at a time mm -hmm. and there's something here about having a goal and twenty thousand dollars can feel like a million i get that mm -hmm. when i think of the debt i owed it looks small but that's gonna be a mountain for people for folks mm -hmm. that you are gonna walk alongside her mm -hmm. you're gonna have a weekly breakfast with her that you're going to set up that you're going to pay for. Mm -hmm. You're going to check on her, how her budgets are going. And what she's going to get out of that is a new relationship with you. You're going to tell her about times you screwed up with money. She's going to get to know yep. you a little bit better. Yep. Y'all are going to high five and celebrate together. She's going to fall off the wagon. You're going to weep together and you're going to walk alongside her. And then she's going to get the outsized gift of walking through and solving this problem with her own two hands. Yeah. And I think there's a gift there. And maybe at the end you gifted the last 5,000 bucks or the last thousand, something like that, but there's something about this. What I would do is, is I, would, I would just modify that very, very slightly because I, I just feel his father's heart on this and it, it just compassion is dripping off this email. His, his tears are yeah. on there. Um, and I really don't read any enabler language. No, I don't either. I, don't, it's, I, I was reading into that, but... Um, uh, I think we exactly, I do exactly what you said, um, and I would pay for her to go through Financial Peace University, mm. and maybe even go to class with her, Yeah. and I would agree to match her. Hmm, I like that. As she pays a 1000 I'll put a 1000 Ooh, I like that. And I, so I'll give her some encouragement, but I'm going to participate in her healing. I'm not going to try to do it for her. Yeah, I like that, Dave. I like if you... Yeah, that's a that's a that's a great olive branch. I like that. Yeah, and you're 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 coaching her. You're cheering for her. now. That's you know contingent upon her being on a budget, cutting up the credit cards. So sure. We're not going back. And but as you know, a little part of your overall healing. Let's heal your financial situation simultaneously because they are overlapped. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's do it together. That's fun. And that's I don't a, know what a, great, any, what a great dad. I don't know any addiction challenges that don't have relational challenges. As, yep. as the foundation. So yep. there's probably some healing here between dad and daughter that are going to take place anyway, which is beautiful. Hey, any, anybody that's an addict that's close to you has pissed you off. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> there's no exception. And probably vice versa. Because they piss off everybody around them. It's part of what they do. They're manipulative and they lie. And, oh, it's a mess. Hmm. Just a mess.